Hey everybody, it is January 8th, 2008. I'm Sonic Sons, and I'm sorry it's been a while since my last video. There's deep delays they were doing to me. Uh, I was out of town, and couldn't really find time to, you know, film stuff. I didn't have that great of an internet connection anyway. Uh, made some comments on things, but wasn't sure if I'd be able to upload. Ah, but better not. Anyway, um, I'm celebrating something that actually happened a bit of a while ago, 2007. Uh, I got my first donation. Hey, and now, um, I don't, uh, I decided not to talk about this until it actually happened. <laughs> and, uh, I don't suppose I'll be constantly bringing it up over and over again. Because I don't, uh, I don't know, I, I don't want to brag or anything. It's not a lot anyway. But anyway, um, so, so, obviously, doing the YouTube thing, um, the internet thing in general, also vidlearnblip.tv, and at sonicsons.net for that matter. Oh, I'm advertising myself. Um, just thinking about stuff, as I always do, but now this time in front of a camera, putting out my random videos on random stuff, and if anybody likes it, which apparently a couple people do, woohoo! Um, well that's, uh, that, that's, that's just, that just makes me feel good. <laughs> and I saw, I've been thinking about this since probably before I was, uh, on, uh, before I was on YouTube, um, I noted that... For instance, the maker of uh, SpyBot Search and Destroy. That's a program that uh, gets rid of spy on your computer. I use it, uh, along with Adware and other stuff. Um, but the maker of that, he gets donations from people who use the program. And uh, it's not like you're buying anything. You're not, like, you know, registering the program or getting, like, the updated version of the program. There's absolutely no difference in the program. It's just, if you uh, happen to like his stuff, and you happen to have some cash lying around, you can give some money. Oh, that's that's really interesting. I heard about uh, the guy that made BitTorrent. Also, living off of donations. Uh, the, the real part of living off of donations is really interesting. And, and thinking of that, I started to glimpse sort of uh, an ideal um, of... Of, of, of being able to do my stuff on my own schedule and do whatever I want to do, right? Um, and send it out on the internet, and then other people can pay whatever they want to pay, and furthermore, whatever they can pay, you know? And, and then I, and then imagine if I could make money off of that and support myself and simultaneously know that I am not ripping anyone off. I'm not being evil here. I can't possibly. I'm not charging for anything. It's all exact, absolutely free, and, you know, you send me a donation, the best you get is, like, an email that says thank you. <laughs> Which is exactly what I sent to Raphael, a guy I met actually on Vidler, who left a bunch of comments, particularly on my Gotham Times video, and said he really liked it, and then said, uh, one of the comments, hey, do you have a, a wish list on Amazon or something? And I was like, maybe? <laughs> Why do you ask? Because I'm thinking of some... It, are you offering to buy me some Batman comics? Which eventually I did ask him. And eventually he said, yes, I, you know, you could do that. So I, I looked into that. You know, wow, could I could I do that? I looked into to putting the Amazon thing. And it's weird. You can make a wish list and then other people can buy you the stuff on your list. But when they do that, it says um, your your address. Part of your address. It just says your, your town and your state. And I was like, eh, and amenity, and I messed with that. So, instead I looked into PayPal, which I actually made an account some ways back, uh, just to see what it was. <laughs> and so now I retooled the PayPal thing, um, and I got a donate button up on my website, sonicsons.net, and you can click that, and you can donate, either by PayPal account, or by credit card, or maybe they even take bank numbers, I don't know. In any case, the only thing that PayPal reveals, so far as I know, is the email address of the email controlling that account. And that email address is now sonicsonsdonations at gmail.com. So, yay, yeah, anonymity, which, as I said before, hardly matters as much as I make it matter, but whatever. Um, so I set that up and just said, well, there it is. Sat back. Some time goes by, nothing happens. I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. Whatever. He sent me an email, though, saying I'll donate. It's very soon, he put it, very soon. I was like, and then, like, I was expecting, like, within an hour. Didn't happen. <laughs> or the next day. The next day. 
All the while, making sure I don't mention this to other people, because I'm sure it would get annoying. <laughs> of I might be getting a donation from some random internet guy. I don't even know if he's sincere. Um... But then, after a while, actually a while after the donation happened, because I wasn't checking the email every day, eventually I was like, oh crap, I, uh, I got, uh, $15. Woohoo! Um, and after PayPal takes, it's like, it's like, it takes out 30 cents, and then like 3% or something. So don't donate, like, less than a dollar, because I totally won't get anything out of it. Um, but, uh, that was cool, you know? Getting this stuff for free, and I, and I gave it for free, and everything's free. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not exactly making a living off of it. You know, I know, Perry Urban, you, uh, you've been doing the donations thing for a while, you know, and uh, I don't know how much you made out of that. I imagine much more than I. I also know that at the same time, you have a day job. Most people do. <laughs> um... But you know, I, I just I just love the idea of it. Uh, donation economy, really. The idea I've, I've mentioned before. Some people are thinking, you know, what if what if in the future we just like everything's donations, like everything just like that's the ultimate of the market deciding. Like the market's not even decide what the price is going to be for this product. Like each individual person will decide what the price will be for this product. And you think, how on earth could that possibly work? Well, I don't know, but we're trying, <laughs> right? If what's particularly well right now is I don't actually need money in any sort of immediate sense. <laughs> so I don't have to rely on it. If I was relying on it, that would be like $15 for the last over 100 videos I've made. <laughs> uh, but who knows when this may go, you know? And um, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to, you know, pressure people into it or whatever, which is why immediately after this video, I'm going to make and post another video to cover it up, so to speak, so like, and by the way, I'm also talking about other things, you know, um, I don't, believe, I don't even believe in, like, asking for, for ratings, and please subscribe, and stuff, I don't want to bother with all that, but mainly in the context of the idea, the ideal of it, um, the, the basic concept, which could apply to all sorts of people, you know, which could apply to society in general, who knows as things might change with time to come, I just thought, uh, I'd say that. And, uh, again, no pressure to anybody. I'm not going to change anything for anyone. It's still going to be all the videos free and free of ads. And the website has no ads. <laughs> and, uh, you know, no, no crappy restrictions. And it's Creative Commons licensed attribution, non-commercial share alike. Um, but if A, you really like this stuff, and B, you also happen to have money lying around, and C, you don't know a better way to spend it, <laughs> um, yes, I have a donation link, and many other people do, and I think that's just really cool. It's just, it's a very exciting idea for the long term. Thanks for watching. Thanks for donating, Raphael. <laughs> and everybody... See you later.